It is August 14th, 2025, and we're going into the Atlantic Ocean to check out and see the update on Tropical Storm Erin, which has formed and now has winds of 50 miles per hour, moving at 17 miles per hour to the west, currently located at 16.3 degrees north and 48.2 degrees west, and has a central eye pressure of 1,002 millibars and dropping, and currently it sits over very warm ocean water of 28 degrees Celsius. And the two big questions for Erin is, how strong will Erin become if it strengthens into a hurricane or major hurricane in the next coming days? And also the direction, the cone of uncertainty. Where will Erin, if it strengthens, where will Erin end up? Will it end up going across the Lesser Antilles and the Caribbean and islands like the Puerto Rico? and the DR, the Virgin Islands, or Cuba? Will it go north into the east coast of America, Florida, Georgia, the Carolinas, or up into the northeast? Or will it continue west into the Gulf of Mexico and make its way towards that part of the Gulf Coast and Texas and Louisiana? Those two questions are the big questions right now. And all the models are suggesting different paths for Aaron based on the atmospheric conditions. However, there is one constant in this equation and models is the ocean surface temperature is very, very warm. Wherever Aaron goes, whether it goes towards Lesser Antilles, or goes towards the Bahamas or the Straits of Florida or up to the East Coast of America. The ocean surface temperature is above 29 degrees Celsius off the Bahamas, off the Lesser Antilles, in the Straits of Florida. It's above 30 in the Gulf. This is very warm ocean water. So when Aaron comes across in the next few days and interacts with this very warm ocean water will possibly see Erin explode into a much larger and stronger hurricane and winds will rapidly increase in strength and the pressure will drop quickly. Like and subscribe and have a great day.